right. What's up, YouTube? So I wanted to kick off uh, a new project that I'm going to be starting. It's this uh, Jeep behind me. So I picked this Jeep up a few years ago. Um, it was my daily driver for a long time. It didn't look great when I first got it. I think I got it for about uh, $2,000 at the time. Um, it probably had 100,000 miles on it. Um, but I needed a daily driver and I knew a guy who was selling it. Um, and so I did a very crappy restoration on it. I wouldn't even call it a restoration actually. I just basically fixed a few things, painted it, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do something fun. I'm gonna make it look like the Jurassic Park Jeep. And uh, luckily for me, there's a really awesome group of people out there called the Jurassic Park Motor Pool. Um, they've got an awesome website and a Facebook group. They've got all the details. And so I followed along with that and I kind of did a, a very budget, cheap, um, Jurassic Park build. So I'll show you what I did and then I'll tell you what we're going to do to it. So I, uh, I stripped it all down um, and sanded it as best I could to get rid of some of the rusty spots and then I, uh, I actually painted it this beige color uh, myself with a spray, uh, like a Harbor Freight paint sprayer and uh, I had ordered the paint the, for the right color and then uh, all the red is actually just a rattle can spray paint. So I taped it off and I spray painted it red. And honestly, for like a year or two, it looked pretty good. Um, I put on some decals. They're just a vinyl decal. A um, couple of little touches. I put on a uh, license plate and uh, I painted the rims red. And then uh, did a couple other things. I put the, uh, the CB radio antenna on. Uh, but really, I didn't do a lot. Um, just kind of a quick paint and some decals and I'll say it was a lot of fun. I, I loved it. I had a great time driving around. I still, I mean, I had people pointing at me, taking pictures with it. It always was just a lot of fun. And then, uh, my wife got pregnant with our second and then shortly after that we had our third. And so we had two babies and the Jeep Wrangler is just not conducive for having, uh, infants. So. Um, for a very short time, I had a, a car seat in the back, and I was taking my middle son to daycare in it, and it was tough. So, finally broke down. We said we need to get a more family-type vehicle. So, we bought a minivan, which is great. Um, I'm not knocking the minivan. I use it to do a lot of stuff for my projects. But the Jeep sat for probably four years. Um, didn't really do much with it. it was, I drove it every once in a while. Um, and then the last two years we moved houses, um, the brakes had started to go out. So I replaced the brake lines. Um, and after I replaced the brake lines, I brought the Jeep, um, to our house and it sat because I had nothing, I had no time to work on it. I had no place to work on it, but that has recently changed. My youngest is now five. So, um, we're out of the diapers, we're out of some, some of that craziness of the, the youngest children, and we're into um, time where they can be hanging out with me, they can be running around, we can um, get back to doing some cool projects. So I really wanted to get this Jeep back up and running, but this time I wanna do an all out restoration on it. Um, and I wanna preface this by saying, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a mechanical engineer, I've been working in medical robotics for 12 years, um, but nothing about that teaches me how to do stuff on cars, right? I've done some basic auto repair stuff. My dad taught me a little bit. I've done brakes and rotors. Um, I did the brake lines on this Jeep, which was pretty easy. Um, I installed a cold air intake on a car once. That's about the extent of my auto knowledge. So I've done nothing on an engine and uh, I've done nothing really on transmissions. I've done nothing on you know ma major auto repair. So this is going to be a, a big project for me, and probably I'm going to screw up some stuff along the way, but I figure I'll learn a lot while we're going. So let me give you a little bit of a tour of, of how bad this Jeep actually is. So first off, it's a 1997 Jeep Wrangler, um, which is a TJ model. Um, and uh, if you know anything about the Jurassic Park movies, you will say, wait a minute, the TJ is not the Jeep from the Jurassic Park movies. It was a YJ. It's actually a slightly older version of the Jeep. And the biggest difference is these headlights. 
on the uh, YJ it had square headlights on the TJ it has the round ones which is kind of classic Jeep headlight now so if you ever see Jeep and you want to quickly point it out check out this but what I want to do is I want to make the most screen accurate TJ version of a Jurassic Park Jeep that I can um, and honestly the, the TJ I like the TJ a lot and it's what I have so I'm not gonna go buy another one um, maybe it would be cost-effective to go buy a better one but we'll see so a couple things need to be completely repainted needs much better paint jobs needs uh, this front bumper is not screen accurate so that's got to go the rims these aren't the screen accurate rims but I was able to find some screen accurate rims and I have those in my garage right now it needs a light bar um, and I got a custom light bar made for it um, that I want to put on. <laughs> you notice I was doing some messing with that and I'm missing the door hinge right here. Um, so I got to be careful opening that front door so it doesn't fall off, but um, lots of fun. Uh, it needs a soft top instead of this hard top. Um, hard top's nice for, uh, for driving around. Um, I might keep the hard top, but to be screen accurate, it needs to get a, uh, a soft top. Back here. Um, Again, the spare wheel needs to be swapped out, and I don't know if you can see, but the uh, this rear bumper just hanging on by a thread. I'm just kicking that with my foot. So that's got to get ripped off, and a new bumper, which that's okay. It wasn't the uh, screen accurate bumper anyway. So all that's fairly cosmetic stuff. Um, the step here um, I'm pretty sure those are also not the correct screen accurate ones um, I'm gonna have to do some looking I think uh, I think that one might I, I don't know if I can um, I might be able to just change it a little bit it's a pretty minor detail maybe I can just get something that looks close I think if I remember right on the YJ it's like a square step um, so we'll do that but most of that stuff that's all within my wheelhouse that's pretty easy right bumpers swapping it's a couple bolts um, paint um, worst case I could have somebody paint it but let's talk about the real fun stuff so it's a 1997 it has 229,000 miles on it and it has a four banger engine um, four cylinder engine so I, if I do a whole bunch of restoration on this I get it to where it looks great and then I'm driving down the road and you know the engine craps out because it, it's pretty old um, it's not worth it so gonna look at uh, doing an engine rebuild um, or maybe an engine swap I'm not sure um, this version of the Jeep also came could have come with a uh, v6 so maybe I'll get a v6 and I'll swap the engine um, so that'll be completely new for me I've, I haven't done any combustion engine stuff um, so at a minimum we're gonna rebuild an engine maybe we'll do an engine swap and rebuild an engine I'm not sure and then the other thing that I did a little reading and a lot of people say Hey, if you're going to do a bunch of work, swapping out the rear differential on these Jeeps is really big improvement on these TJs. So the stock differential isn't particularly great if you want to go off-roading or do anything like that with it. Um, it's definitely a weak point. So I might do a rear differential swap, rear, whole rear, ax rear axle swap probably. Um, and that's uh, probably to a Dana 44. So I'll have to go find one from a scrapyard, pull it, bring it out and do it. Now to do all that, Gonna take some time and um, it's just me so probably this will be a slow process my plan is to do the work and do some periodic video updates I'm gonna try to do an update every month um, at least um, and then maybe some in, in between there for smaller upgrades um, but the other thing we're gonna do is to get all of that going I gotta pull the whole tub off this Jeep so I've looked at some videos I've read some stuff online Apparently, if you are handy, you can take the entire cab off of this car and you'll have just the frame and the transmission and the axles and the engine. Um, and then that'll leave that all open for me to get in there, figure out, hey, what all's, uh, what else is broken that I don't know. I mean, it's an old Jeep. Jeeps are prone to get, um, they call it Jeep cancer. It's basically frames rusting or um, some sort of rust in there. So I figure when we pull the tub off, get down in there we'll see there's some other areas that need fixed maybe the frame needs some work and we'll figure out what we do from there interior wise there's um, some work to do as well 
So the interior needs the carpet swapped out um, and probably needs the chairs swapped out too. The front driver's chair, the back is kind of, something's up with it. It um, doesn't have the support it should, so it kind of leans back a lot more than it should. So I'm going to probably swap the driver's seat out at a minimum, but in the, um, in the movie, they have kind of this very specific version of a Jeep um, that has like leather pouches and stuff. So maybe we can also do some interior on that. The goal is to get it back up and running and that I can use it as a daily driver. Um, but I'd love to do a little off-roading with it too. I don't want to do giant lift kit or anything like that, but um, it would be nice if I could take it off-road a little bit. I'm in Pennsylvania, so there's plenty of places around here that are fun to go take it to some um, Jeep rallies, have some fun with it. Um, maybe a winch too. I know the movie one had a winch, so lots of possibilities. But for now, step one is just start tearing this baby apart and seeing what all needs fixed. So if that sounds like a project you're interested in, you wanna follow along, hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Let me know, tell me what you think. Should I, uh, should I scrap the whole Jeep and just buy a new one? Should I, Think about some upgrades. Uh, I know there's a ton of Jeep Jeep family out there. Um, Jeep lovers tend to have lots of fun turning wrenches and tweaking their Jeeps. So I'm planning on having a good time with it. Let me know what you think we should do. Uh, maybe what's the order? What should I work on first? And uh, go from there. All right. Thanks, everybody.